You're about to listen to the award-winning Stuart Tedesso Show. This show is for biologically and emotionally mature audiences. If you should not be here, please go away. We'll still be here when you're mature enough to partake. Mwah! Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Stuart Bonasso Show. I'm Dave. And I'm Melissa. And uh, you are uh, listening to the award-winning podcast, the Stuart Bonasso Show. And mm-hmm. sorry, no show last week. It thought we were going to do one, and then it just didn't work out. I had to go out of town. I didn't have to, mm-hmm. but I went out of town. You went out of town, and we thought maybe we could make it work, and then it didn't. And it didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And but it got me good some stories and some. Things. I bet it did. I I know. I'm like I I don't really have too much to talk about. Yeah. So I'm hoping you have gonna, some good stories. We're for gonna us. we're gonna get into it. And um, real quick, let me just do the, all the housekeeping stuff. So you know about StuartBerdasso.com. If you're listening to this, if you don't, well, go to StuartBerdasso.com. And there's so many things for you to do there. And then there's our new. Our sister project? I don't know how to call this. Cool Cats for Change, which is um, my effort to help change the world while not having to actually interact with people. Which, Boom! Which we've talked about last show. Um, you know, with our friend Pete. Yeah, So it's, but it's, uh, it's, it is. It's a soft opening. It's up. It's going. There are things that, at Cool Cats for Change dot com which you can it's all spelled out like it sounds there's Mm -hmm. no numbers in it there's no weird spellings um actions for you to take and it's just for right now it's pretty much easy internet petitiony put your name in send a letter to your legislator kind Mm -hmm. of thing right and i'm not gonna lie to you it's going to escalate there's going to be stuff eventually that's saying, hey, here's a protest you can go do, or hey, here's something you can do in your hometown, or hey, mm-hmm. here's how you can stick it to the man and get arrested. Or, But there's going to be a mix of things, to, but depending on your level of, you know, but it's a way, enough of just listening to me bit saying you should get involved, actually providing the ways for you to get involved. So coolcatsforchange.com, you should go check that out. It's pretty bitching, man. Really yeah. And it's so... New and it, there's going to be so much more. Right now, if you go there, there's pretty much just like five or six actions you can take. But there's like no new sources. There's no. It's going to be. I got. I got plans, man. Yeah, man. This things are going to happen. I'm going to sell <laughs> siding, and I'm going to no. I'm no, we're not selling yeah. siding. Well, I'm going to sell shit. I'm going to sell some stuff. Like it's stuartprodasso.com. Mm-hmm. We're going to buy. We're going to sell books, and we're going to sell. Okay, coolcatsforchange.com probably isn't going to have the sex toys. Mm-mm. You're going to yeah. have to go to Stewart for that. Yeah. But there'll be some cool stuff there, too. So you should go check that out. StuartBadasso.com, um, Cool Cats for Change, and Cool Cats for Change has a Facebook page, and it has a Twitter handle. The Twitter does have its Cool Cats, the number four change, because apparently Elon doesn't allow big names. So I had to, I can't yeah. cut it down. Yeah. So I do the number four. Can't have those big things. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's done whatever. I'm not gonna get started. I know. Elon Musk. Not, yeah. yeah. It's not worth my time anymore. So uh, housekeeping, housekeeping, housekeeping. <laughs> Was there more? I think that's it. Oh, we're working okay. on a couple of uh, guests. Come on. Um, yeah, working on it. Working yeah. on it. Yeah. I feel like we're always sort of working on it. I mean, because uh, we always want to have more people come on. Yes, there's, there's, there's the new folks who who have never been on before, who have like seem to have never been on a people who are been on podcasts before. A lot of times, um, want nothing to do with us because we're not a big deal, right? Wow, well, you know what I mean. They don't think we're a big deal. right. We're a big, we're a big deal. Yeah, um, and then the people who have never been on a podcast before really think it's a big deal, mm-hmm. and they get like scared. I don't say and and mm-hmm. what happens if I say something wrong and and just like I really have to hold, hold people's hand and get them to come on it's the show. Like it's really not a big deal. It's really not right. Yeah. So that's kind of where we are. So I mean, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, working on it. We're working on it. And then people it's who happening. used to come on the show all the time, I don't know. They don't seem to want to come on anymore. People are busy. They have lives. It's true. A lot of no, they, I think they still love you. I think they're busy people. Oh, I know they are. 
They wouldn't mm-hmm. be friends with us if they weren't. If they yeah. were ne'er do wells who just sat around doing nothing, mm-hmm. they're ne'er do wells who do things. Yeah. <laughs> We're not just gonna hang out with any nerd well. Any, yeah, you know we got we got standards. Oh no, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> gonna have yahoos who actually do shit. <laughs> oh no, you're a dumbass, but you do shit. Come on. <laughs> That's how we roll here at the Stuart Show. Oh my goodness. So I went to Michigan. Yes, you did. So you're like Dave. What the fuck is Michigan? That's that's a really good point. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going to tell you how I discovered that's a really good point. So, you know, cities there that are like kind of decrepit and in trouble, Detroit, mm-hmm. Flint, mm-hmm. you know, probably the only city that I know of. And I'm not saying I'm a Michigan expert. Uh, you know, four days in Michigan makes me a Michigan ac- expert. Mm-hmm. But um, maybe Ann Arbor, Ar- Ann Arbor, because that's a college mm-hmm. town. Right. It's right. doing well. I think. Uh, other than mm-hmm. that, I don't know. They all seem to be, I don't think Battle Creek's tearing anything up. Mm-hmm. But... Gross Point. Is that a city? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's probably nice. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I just know it from that movie. Yeah, but it does exist and it's a nice area. Oh, I know it exists. Okay. Well, I did not go there. Okay. Uh, and I didn't go to the cities to see like the cool, hip urban decay. I didn't do mm-hmm. that. Um, This was kind of in, uh, I don't know, back roads, backwoods is a little harsh, but it, it, it wasn't the urban setting. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like around every corner, you just got that vibe that someone was starting a militia. <laughs> so is it like a small town? All the small towns. We went to all the small All towns. the small towns, and they all seem like they're starting a militia. Yeah. In, it's in just around you the get corner. that vibe. I mean, you didn't see guns, mm-hmm. but, you know, you just had that, you know, you just kind of looked around a lot, you know, <laughs> and just like, man, something's not right here. So it just mm-hmm. had that feeling. So I went to to meet I for me meeting for my wife it was she knew mm-hmm. uh to visit her family and nice people not you know I'm not here to trash those folks they did not seem to be in any kind of militias that I could mm-hmm. tell. Uh there was some there was, <laughs> there's always a weirdo. Let's just I mean yeah. uh, there's always somebody who's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe not talking about it on the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a militia, but let's just say something where there's like Wikipedia pages about it. <laughs> let's put it that way. All righty. All right. Here. here, I'll do the old pot it down for a second. Oh. Yeah. It just, it didn't seem sinister, but I was still like, something it's not a militia but something just is your weird sense. Uh, something there's something there's some secret handshakes going on here <laughs> all right whatever so anyway it was cool um and and i want to get into that a little bit because that's going to bring us to the beer which is very which, which is, is what i'm waiting for that's why i do this show goddamn <laughs> It's for the beer. I do the show for the beer. I don't know it's why. Like, yeah, it's like this is when I can have some beers and feel like I, what I'm doing. It. I'm doing it for the show. Yeah, I don't know why y'all listen. Uh, not to hope you don't listen. So to hear other people drink. I mean, open a beer. Open a have a beverage yourself. And if you don't drink, have a juice. Have a have a juice box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there they're, they're delicious. Yeah. Honestly, I like a I like a juice a, box. A good juice box? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. 100%. Do you use juice the little box. straws? Yeah. I hate the little straws. Oh, no. You got to use the little straw. I got to use the little straw. I got the juice. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, no, I, you have to, but yeah, I don't I still mean the, I like them. Yeah, I still rock on the juice box. I mean, a, I a regular straw in a juice box is just gratuitous. That's, what are you, what are you I mean, showing off? <laughs> your juice box is gone in like two <laughs> sips. sips. You can't. No that's not. No more uh, juice box for you. Unless it's like a big ass box, like a wine box mm-hmm. yeah, with a big straw in it. I'm surprised they don't make those. Oh, so someone does. I'm, I'm Somewhere. sure at Party City there's some, you know, some sort of contraption. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, no question. So one of the things we did that wasn't family involved is we went to this town, and apparently this is a world famous town that tourists come from all over the world to go to this town, and I had never heard of it, but since I have been married to my wife. I have heard about this damn town and we have to go. We have to go. And I'm like, fine, let's go. And never, it was never, you know, I was like, put up or shut up. So finally, yeah, fine, we're going. It was put up. We went. And it's called Frankenmuth. And if it sounds German, it's because it is. 
Bavarian more specifically, mm -hmm. and it's a Bavarian type town in Michigan. Okay, I've heard of this place. Oh, have you? Okay, yep, so I, have. I never heard of it. Yeah. So there's it's very Bavarian slash German, and it's mm -hmm. very touristy. It's like Niagara Falls without the falls mm -hmm. and the the funny houses, and there may have been some Lederhosen involved. Yeah, may have been. And um, but it, again, it was it was you know you're not expecting this is like. Uh, saving the world kind of stuff you're going to a tourist thing of course and it's totally what it was so as most tourist things there's one main strip where all most of the shops are and the things to and do and they're probably and, all like german related oh absolutely yeah, right, yeah. Right. usually or, or michigan related mm -hmm. is where we were and um so uh let me go right to the one thing so we can fucking have some beer okay there, there's mm -hmm. other things i could talk about too but let's get to the first story which is about beer so we go into this because it's German, this sausage shop, because mm -hmm. that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And there was. There was all the sausage. And they had jerky. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's jerky. Right. Like the cowboys eat. Right. And it had to be refrigerated. Hmm. Right. Who Interesting. Made, what's jerky? That, that's not jerky. That's meat. Jer like yeah, the cowboys jerky. on the range had yeah, their fridge. The point to have jerky so you didn't have to refrigerate. Yeah, so it. I got a package of jerky down in the fridge. It says must keep refrigerated at forty something degrees. I'm like, I didn't see that till I got home. Like but that is odd. Yeah, that's not what you're. That's not yeah, jerky. Yeah, it's that's something else. Is it's it good? I haven't had it yet. Oh, because okay. it's refrigerated. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to it yet. So <laughs> anyway, so we're in this sausage place. And there's all the meats and stuff that are refrigerated that you had to keep refrigerated. And then along the walls were coolers and there were some beverages. And at least in Frankenmuth, or at least, I don't know if it was all in Michigan, but at least in this town, you could get single beers, right? Mm -hmm. And they had, amongst the Bavarian y type stuff and not regular, you know, Bud Light, and, yeah. um, they had a beer that I hadn't heard about in decades. I'm talking about my grandfather used to drink this shit. I thought it was a relatively not Rochester local, but I mm -hmm. thought it was like an upstate New York kind of beer. I had no idea that it was not. I didn't even know it was around anymore. And there it was. And this was like, not like, look, my grandfather was not a connoisseur. Right, he, right. He was a chain smoking, Pall Mall cigarette. Right, no. You know. most, back then, nobody was a connoisseur. Yeah, yeah. Like, you drink beer. You drink, yeah, there, there was, was no craft there was only, beers. Right, yeah, right. there was only yeah. like so many beers available, right, and you, right. drink which, you drink one yes, of those. Right. Yeah. So I just remember as a little kid, as he was pounding beers and mm -hmm. chain smoking, and, mm -hmm. and my grandmother would be pissed at him because he was drunk again. Mm -hmm. um, hey, don't tell your grandmother sneak down to the fridge and get me a beer and bring it back up i was like four or five right you're like okay girl. okay girl. and he you know he would it was when the pot the pull tab things mm -hmm, yeah and he would let us like pop it so it would spritz on his face and we thought that was funny and that was our reward right <laughs> cute, was a simple cute, time yes dysfunctional yeah, it was, yeah yeah so i'm like oh my god i can't believe there's a fucking can of black label in there Oh yeah, I okay. remember, I've heard of Black Label. So obviously, I, it was way before I was when I started drinking. Even on the sly as a teenager, mm -hmm. there was no Black Label around. Black Label. Mm -hmm. So I bought one can, <laughs> and I'm going to split it with you if you're willing okay. to oh, do it. Oh, absolutely. That. All right, so long, I'm getting up to get this. So. All right, I'm excited about the Black Label. All right. I wonder why it was there though. Isn't that a local product? No, well, okay. All right, let's see. Where is it? Oh, uh, I don't have. Do I? I don't know if I have my, I don't oh, have my glasses. Oh, so if on. you look on it now, back in the day, this did not have this, but apparently it is now it was brewed white. by Carling Brewery in Canada. Okay, it's there's a big maple leaf on there, and so either they always made it or they acquired the thing, and now it's only in Canada. I don't know. Hmm. So. I, know, hard to I got one can. Somebody said to me, who the, the group I was with said, hey, you could buy a case if you want. I'm like, slow down, man. Oh, it's uh, Milwaukee. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right, Milwaukee. I mean, that big bird. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. So I was like, whoa, slow down, bro. I'm not buying a case of Black Label. Just chill out, buddy, okay? I just want one to try, and I'll, I'll talk about it on the show. And, and it was, that one can, was, as you can see, was $1.25. Founded in 1840. Yeah. So if you bust it open and let's split it and let's try some black label. Trying some black label. Yeah. 
So I'm not uh, even going to smell it from the can, which I usually do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. No, I'm just going to go right. So in I have another beer that we're going to do. We're going to do it t- if you want. And actually, you can have your own can of the other beer. Okay. Um, if you want. Um, but I don't know. Right here, I'm going to here. I can pour some more in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Don't bugger out the black label, man. I think I got pretty close to the same. So, so it's funny. So I sent, um, I took a picture of the can and I sent it to my mother, and her kind of thing was like, "What? What, what is this?" Because uh, it's her dad who used to pound them, and um, and I sent another one to GLB, and I don't know if he meant to do it. All his reply was like literally two periods. <laughs> <laughs> no emoji, no what the fuck, or that I don't know if he meant to do that or he it asked. It has like no smell. There's like almost no smell to it. Oh my god, there's not. I don't know what to say about that. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I think that's bad. It's I'm a little afraid. It's kind of clear. It looks like a light beer almost. It, is, it looks like um like a pilsnery type of thing. Right. Wait, what does it say? So it's a black it just says It just says beer. It says that's beer. 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 <laughs> All right, I'm all right, sipping. All right, sipping it. Where we go? It it almost tastes like beer. Doesn't have much. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't mm, taste like much of anything. It's not great. It's not. It's a. You can tell it's a cheap beer, but mm-hmm. it. I don't think it tastes as good as Jenny. Oh no no no! Well, Jenny has flavor to it. Yeah, this, this really weird. doesn't have flavor. Yeah, much. I mean, That's fine. I mean, I could see why somebody would drink it because I could. There is not that much flavor to it. You have right. a few of those. You get a little bit of a buzz on. You can fucking pound these because there's like nothing yeah. to it. Right. Outside with the buds. Outside with the buds. Pound black labels, man. So did you did I the uh, because you were so close to Canada? Um, I think that's where the Dylan Mulvaney uh, Bud Light cans were. Is um, oh was it? Oh, I don't know. I yeah. don't. Okay, so as well, we drink our black label. I'll get to the beer story number two as we mm-hmm. sip our black label. Uh, my pinky's going to be out as I'm yeah. drinking this, so that's mm-hmm. okay. Feeling fancy. Um, I, I just, man, I and, and I'm not, I don't want to jump ahead because it kind of is, but um, I, this whole the whole Dylan Mulvaney. I don't even know who that is, by the way. I only know that person she's because a, uh, of she's a tick. TikTok person. Well, yeah, she I, was, yeah. I mean, I know a little bit about. Um, she was, um, she started her her trans journey. It's like her her year at, at becoming a girl or something. I think is what her okay her thing was. And I don't know. She just seems really nice. And and, and I've seen her talk about. She just seems really really nice. And whether it's coordinated or not, there seems to be uh, an effort to any almost any. Uh, company that tries to do anything that's not just like fucking mm-hmm. white redneck mm-hmm. to like to organize a boycott. So they went after Bud Light and Bud Light screwed that up because they should have just said, fuck you, then don't drink our beer. Mm-hmm. And they tried to backpedal and that pissed everybody off. So right they, now everybody's mad right, at you. Right, so now everybody's mad at you. Um, now they're trying to go turn around again and do something LBGTQ again. Because it's fucking Pride Month. Yeah, well, yeah. so like, yeah, let's they totally it fucked now. it up. Um, not Target. People complain mm-hmm. about Target and they pulled some shit, which I'm really bummed about, but fuck them. I'm not. Yeah, I was really bummed about that too. Fuck I mean, not Target. around here. I mean, around You're here. Right, it was we, around here because I did go into one after that shit happened. Everybody, and stuff was still I, you know what? I talked about it on Facebook and a few of my friends said they were in Target and they were at the Pride. The Pride stuff was, was still right there. in front. Right? For better or worse, you know, performative, but at least they didn't take it away. So, yeah, right, but like, some okay. stores they put it in the back of the store. Did they? Yeah, they so, still had them up, and they were like, "There we are putting putting gay people in the back again." So, you know, it's so like, God damn we'll it. get to this a little bit later on as part of this connection I have. But um, I'm going to use Cool Cats for change, at least mm-hmm. the Twitter to call out companies. You mm-hmm. you can't change the system through capitalism, like buying things, but mm-hmm. you can still fuck with it a little bit. You can't oh, yeah. you can't change the system, but you can still poke. So I'm going to use Cool Cats for Change to do for that. that. Did you see? Speaking of companies um, that have spoken, NASCAR. Oh no, I didn't see that. Okay, NASCAR. NASCAR is a has is. Um, um, I saw. I got an email or something from uh, the Trevor the Trevor Project, mm-hmm. and um, NASCAR is gave them a ton of money. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a, a yeah. an openly gay driver now. Yeah, yeah, I do. So know, that's I did probably, know about that. Yeah. But I, I just thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, oh, 
What are they going to do about that? So, they have a big pride flag up and everything else. So the best, the, probably the, the I don't want to call it a chef's kiss because they still blow like dead donkeys. Um, but do you know who they're organizing, the crappy people are organizing against now? Of all of the companies, of all of the companies, motherfucking Chick-fil-A. What, what's going on with Chick-fil-A? So apparently Chick-fil-A hired someone to be like their diversity and inclusion officer. Okay. And it pissed off the bigots. They didn't even do anything yet. They just hired someone. It could be a totally honorary thing, like empty suit, not really going to do anything. But they just saw diversity and inclusion and went, white people. And they're freaking out. And there are some folks who are trying to organize a boycott at Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, bro, you do it. That's just like chasing your own tail, man. I mean, it's so silly. Really? Chick -fil the company that gives to anti-LBGTQ organizations? Mm -hmm. Really? That's who you're going to go for, bro? Have fun. God damn, there's some dumb motherfuckers. I know. I know. It's so fresh. I saw a video on the interwebs of some somebody who's famous and not anybody I know because, you know, I don't know famous people that well. I never remember who they are, but um, some guy I've seen do interviews on the streets. He's gone to like Trump, you know, like Trump events and stuff and talk to people. He talked to this one dude outside of a Trump rally, a more recent one. And the weird shit that this guy was saying he believed in, like these weird conspiracies. And he was so serious about it. And I was floored. Absolutely floored. He was talking about that he name, believes that Trump is like, what's that? Do you remember who it was? Who the famous person was? No, I don't remember who it was oh, okay. at all. But, the, but I remember the was. interview. The interview, this kid was talking about how he really believes like that there's, like he was wearing one of those Q shirts and he was talking about there's a shadow government and that Trump is actually in charge and the person who's playing Biden and Biden is actually dead and the person who's playing Biden he said he goes it might be somebody like James Woods like John F. Kennedy Jr. oh yeah he did say Maybe. that JFK Jr. was actually alive still and was gonna be Trump's um running mate so you know what annoys me about that shit mm. What's that? Because there's actual real shit happening, and, yeah. it, and it makes that stuff get lumped into that shit, and it really mm -hmm. just is annoying as fuck. Yeah. But people really believe this. It's weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I just... It's like... It's one of those things I'm like, did you hear what you just said? Did you hear, listen to the words that came out of your mouth right now? <sighs> All right. Am I going to be that guy? It's not, now I have to do this... Ex I'm going to do this mm -hmm. external dialogue with myself. All right, Dave. Are you going to do this? Because you're going to make a valid point, but it still makes you kind of douchey. Even though you're going to be right, you're going to be <laughs> shitting on a lot of people. Are you going to bring it out there or not? Interior dialogue, Dave. Now it's exter exterior, exterior di dialogue. dialogue. All right. I'll do it gently. <laughs> as I can on half a black label. <laughs> 2.9% alcohol. Yeah, I know. For real. Well, I mean, it's kind of like religion. You know, it's really a fairy tale, and yet people will fucking go to the grave, mm -hmm. will kill other people, or die themselves for it. Yeah. And, you know. I know. I shouldn't be surprised by these things, but this one really no, was, no, like, no, you shocking. Should. No, you should. It was shocking. Uh, it was a little bit shocking. I was like, and it was like, he knows it. He goes, I know. He goes, I know it sounds, he goes, I know how it sounds, but I'm telling you, you can't believe what you read, you know, what, what the media is telling you. It's a lie. You have to, and he was talking about some different channels he watches, like on probably on some sort of YouTube thing. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, YouTube that's, or something. That's where you're going yeah. That's and, sure and that's YouTube. who you got to watch. And then you can get all the, get all the real, real do your research, man. Yep. He said that. He said. He, did. Did. he said that. He Dude. does. He's, he claimed he does his research. Here's the thing. He seemed like a nice enough kid. Like he did. He seemed like a nice. Nice. He was. He wasn't. He. He was enthusiastic. He was. And he wasn't really rude. So like the he wasn't. He was actually just like the January. How it the is. January sixth people. They believe in the same shit, but because they're such, they're so over the top douchey 
they're easy to like hate and make right. fun of and shit. But when someone who's really nice he's, is right, still there, seems, do the research, man. I know. It's I'm like, like bro, oh, honey. Just, yeah, it's just, just oh. well, you just take an edible and chill the fuck out. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Because he seems all right. Uh, like, you seem like an all right kid. You just I sit down you and have a black so label with you. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. So what's so? Uh, what was the next story in your? Are you ready your, for beer number two? Yeah, I'm ready for beer number two. Tell us a story. This is fun. Okay, this so is like a, this is like a game. Well, it's yeah, like story it's, time with Dave. Yeah, it's, like, it's story it's time beer, with Dave. With beer, it's a beer, it's a beer journey. Yeah, beer journey. I um, like our beer journey. So, um, going. So, all right. So one of the things that we did going to Michigan, we went to mm -hmm. see this one family member who is supposed to be really good. And making this German noodle, like from scratch. Okay. And you don't kind. Yeah, it's well. Uh, okay. Pretzel? No, no, it's not, not, not that. It's oh, which I love it's that. something that every time nobody else sees. I think this is more like a family name for it, mm -hmm. right? So if I say the word, everybody else seems to look at it like what? But it seems to be like a family name for this kind oh, okay. of this noodle, um, noodla. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Right. No, so no, I'm sure. saying so. Um, I just, as a goof, I couldn't, dude, I couldn't care less about this fucking noodle. Okay. I but, do love yummy noodles. But, but, uh, well. I'm just saying, I okay. do love but, noodles. But, um, I, you know, I, I, as a goof, I always like, oh, there's no such thing. This fictional thing. It's just noodles. <laughs> you with your fake German words. You're just yeah, yeah. Messing around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Messing yeah. around like you do. Like I do. Like yeah, that's do. right. That's why everybody loves me. Cause I mess around, man. <laughs> anyway, so, um. Finally, we're going to Michigan to the the one uncle who's the master at the noodle. Yeah, right? master noodle. He's the master noodle. He's the noodle master. <laughs> noodle master. Yes. In fact, you know what? I don't know how to spell this noodle thing, but we're gonna find out. Noodle master might be the name of this show. Okay. So it's pretty great. <laughs> so we go. We yeah. It's not gonna show up in any search engine. I'm so bad at this. Like. Mm -hmm. internet shit okay i name our shows like the worst things to get found but anyway um so we go to the noodle master's house it's like going to meet yoda right <laughs> and and i'm watching him make this stuff and there's nothing spectacular i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but you know you, you threw some oil in a pot and some onions and a little bit of Italian seasoning and some other maybe salt pepper kind of thing and mm -hmm. you just take the 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 dough had already been made and mm -hmm. you just Took little pieces and rubbed it and threw it in the pot. Some some chicken stock and mm -hmm. you made it and it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't. Think, I thought that the consistency it tasted fine, but I thought the consistency was weird. It was kind of hard and not hard, but it wasn't. It just was weird. Yeah, it wasn't. But hey, man, if that's what you German people are into. You do you. you. You noodle it up. You noodle it a town, man. All the way, whatever you got to do. So here's, okay. So we're going to the Noodle Master, right? Now, this is before we even left Rochester. And Noodle Master says, yeah, I need you to, if you want me to make noodle for you, you, you got to stop and you have to bring me some Labats. And I'm like, that's very specific. Cold Labats. Too. Mm -hmm. So I'm like... It's Michigan, and I'm thinking, you're right next to Canada. Well, I'm like, they don't have Labats in Michigan? So I, I don't know. How the fuck would I know, right? right so I'm right. like, so I made this assumption that they don't have fucking Labats in Michigan. And he, and he asked specific, specifically for Labats. So I'm like, all right. So we, we from Rochester, it's quicker to go through Canada. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. so we we go through Canada, and which, by the way, they have ginormous windmills there, and they're awesome, and they all work. Yet here in the U.S., we don't, and we suck. But anyway, sorry for that little commentary. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's cold. We, no, I didn't we, know that. Yeah, so we go into to get out of Canada, and we to the line, and we stop at the and I love saying it, we we went to the duty free shop. So love we were duty free, free of duty. Shop. Love duty free shops, and. They and we got the Labats because mm -hmm. this apparently there's no Labats in Michigan. That's so bizarre. It's not true. There's not tons true. of Labats. For some yeah. reason, Noodle Master just wanted us to get him Labats. So anyway, so you could have gotten Labats at like the Seven Eleven up yep. the street, probably. Yep. Absolutely, and I had no idea. 
And I didn't want to be that guy because if there was no Labats in Michigan, mm -hmm. we get there and 7-Eleven doesn't have it. Now we showed up to the new Master with no Labats. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, fuck, we're going to the dude. We're getting the fucking Labats, dude. To make we're sure not, we have it. To make sure we have it. So we go to the duty free shop. And I, I think I've been to one once, but mm -hmm. I, I didn't remember what was in there. I got to admit, it was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. They, it, I mean, it's really just the world's largest liquor store. And it's fucking cheap. Mm -hmm. Right, I can't speak for other countries and other borders and shit like oh, that. Oh no, it's cheap. Yeah, and it's but it's fucking cheap. And so there was, and because it was on the Canadian side, there were beers that some beers I never heard of. But there was a beer I had heard of, which I, you can find here probably. I know it's not our favorite place, probably at Beers of the World. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I had never seen this beer. In cans, I'd only seen it in bottles. And even though we've taken the shows down, um, if you go to, and I'll try to post it in, on pa our Patreon, there's another plug. Mm -hmm. um, I did post the show this week because we didn't do a yep. show. Um, I did post the show with Nina Alvarez and uh, uh, Stephen Huff, mm -hmm. which was one of my favorite shows. I yeah. thought Stephen was just so awesome. I loved his book, mm -hmm. and he was a lot of fun. Yeah, he was fun, and there was whiskey, <laughs> which was yeah, cool yeah, too. oh yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. so um, uh, but we did a show when I was in Hawaii about this beer because it was in fucking Hawaii. It was like at the Seven Eleven in mm -hmm. Hawaii. You're like, like, why would this Canadian beer? Be, be at the 7-Eleven. Se like, regularly. Hawaii. Like, it was at not just one. It was, like, at all the convenience stores. Like, why is this Canadian why beer? Of all, these? of all Yeah, of all the things. So, I thought about coming back on the way back and stopping and get a case. Mm -hmm. But I did. I only ended up getting two. And I thought I was going to drink it while I was in Michigan. But, mm, busy. I was too busy with my black label and mm -hmm. bad and cold jerky. I, uh, Ugh, it's so weird. It's supposed to... It's not where it belongs. So, <laughs> sorry about the pause. I know. I'm sorry, folks. We, we, we're we still here. We're about to drink some beer. What is going on here? Ah, oh, Moosehead. I've never had it. Oh, you never had Moosehead? No. Okay. I've so, never had it. I know Moosehead in a can. Now, they used to have this in Rochester all the time, and like all the, we the Wegmans is and all that jazz. No, I've just never had it. But it's been years since it's really been around locally. I guess it just didn't sell well, and they decided not to. And for some reason, they sell it in Hawaii, or at least in Maui. That is so funny, too, because it's like, literally, it's got a moose on it. It's like the least Hawaiian thing <laughs> right. it could possibly be. I'll never, it was like the first weekend I was there. I went to the, and I can't remember the name, their version of like safe. Pass safe, not Safeway, safe hmm. thing. The gas station, the like gas the Hess, whatever like, you yeah, know. The gas station slash convenience store. Mm -hmm. And I walk in, and I was like, oh, I just I need some beer. And there's fucking Moosehead. I mean, I just get off the plane. I'm from the the mainland, from upstate New York, right? And I'm there's like... fucking Moosehead. So <laughs> I see Moosehead at the duty free shop. I'm like, oh, I gotta get in cans, which I'd never seen. So I'm just gonna have some Moosehead, and I already know what it tastes like. Um, at least it, in bottles, mm -hmm. maybe in cans it won't be. When it was in bottles, it was the green bottles, but it still had. And I'm not saying this is a bad thing. To me, it was nostalgic. It had a little bit of that Canadian mm, skunkiness. I knew you were gonna say the Canadian skunk, but I liked it. I kind of like for some reason. Oh, I can smell. Can you? Oh, it smells like beer. See, yeah. Unlike the black label. Yeah. So. Just going to have a little moose head. And then after that, I don't have any more beer from the Michigan trip. I just got a six pack of the um, Ruby Red. Which is delicious. I know. That's why I bought it. I know you'd like it. So. Yeah, I do like it. Also, it's just delicious. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've never had moose head. I don't oh, think good. so anyway. So this will be a first for me. Yeah. So I thought about stopping on the way. But by the time we were done with our four days in Noodle Land, I was just like, both my wife and I were like, dude, we just need to get the fuck home. Not stopping at duty free, and the traffic sucked on the way back, and we we're just uh, like, just gotta get it, just get the fuck out of here, man. You, you were in the Noodle home for how many days? Oh, not in the house for them, but we were in Michigan for like, uh, we we got there Friday night, we left mm -hmm. Monday, mm. so it, it was a nice long weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me, where'd you stay? Uh, Grand Blanc. <laughs> what? Grand Blanc. Grand Blanc. Grand Grand Blanc. Grand Blank. I was say like Rochester. For Grand Blank. Grand Blank, Michigan. 
That's where. Yeah. It was no, like, but what, did you stay quality, like at a hotel? Yes, or, the oh, quality. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you stayed with family or if you stayed at a hotel. No, because there was different family in different directions, and we just like, picked, a picked a hotel central, in the middle. Yeah, almost. Central, central area. Yeah. Well, that's cool. A little bit of, the, not as skunky as the bottles. No, it's not as skunky. It's not very skunky. But there's a hint of it, though. There's it's a still, it's, That's the moose head. That's the moose. You could taste the moose. <laughs> that should be its fucking... His motto, taste the moose. Taste the moose. It is union made, though. Oh, I didn't really. I, I got right my there, glasses right on the front, on. it says union made. You have your glasses on. I you did. So we love that. Yeah. So it was good. Good times. So. <sighs> this is a, this is nostalgic yeah. for me. So I don't Contains remember. Contains barley. I don't remember if we ever <laughs> talked about this on the show, but for a while when we were younger in our high school slash maybe a little bit past Days, although in high school it was pretty easy to get alcohol, I, so I can't remember. It was in the t- late you know, teens, I, I early twenties. Like I feel like in like around, back in the day, yeah. Like I feel like, um, where I grew up in the in in the boondocks and the sticks, um, yeah, it was uh, you, it was easy to find somebody well, who had an older. Well, not person. even that. They they didn't even card you as much. <laughs> real back oh, then. even when I was in yeah. when I was starting to go to uh, bars and stuff, they didn't card as much as they yeah, do now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, there was another beer from Canada that we found, and it if this is a little skunky, this thing should have been called skunk beer. I mean, this was the height of skunk beer, and I don't know if GLB knows where I'm going with this, but. We would buy it to drink it, and we would split like a six pack and maybe have one because you just couldn't. It was just too. It was too much over the top, what was skunky. It? And but the name and the and the logo was so fucking Canadian. So you, you got Moosehead, right? Right. This one was called Grizzly. Ah! <laughs> it was just like over the top Canadian. There was a big grizzly bear, on it, like like attacking you kind of thing on the on the. I was going to say beaver. No, I, well, I wish that would have been, awesome. been great. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh no, this was grizzly, and we just thought that was so hilarious. Like we're drinking grizzly. Oh, really <laughs> yeah, so, oh, I'd still do it. I think it's funny if I could find grizzly. I would. Perfect. Oh, well, we could look it up. Every once in a while, I get drunk. No, no, I get. Drunk. <laughs> I'm not. There was a comma, not a period there. Once in a while I get drunk. Yeah, there's a comma. Comma. It was a dramatic pause. Every once in a while I get drunk and I get I go on the internet like you do mm-hmm. and I look to see if there's any way I could purchase online this beer from years ago. It used to be called Bad Frog Beer. Did we talk about Bad Frog? Oh, I know about Bad Frog Beer. You know beer. about Bad Frog? Yeah, I do. I only know about Bad Frog Beer because years ago there was this really crappy state senator in New York who, you know how politicians, they make something their issue, like we have to protect the children and we have to protect mm-hmm. people. Well, they, we had, we had, it was bad. It was not classy and we just not, that New York State's not that kind of state to allow Bad Frog Beer because the label was a frog giving you the finger. Oh, yeah. That's all it was. So every once in a while, I get drunk, like you do, and I go and look on the internet to see if I can get a can of Bad Frog. I wonder if we have a can of Bad Frog. I wonder if we have an empty one. Oh, Bad Frog? We might. We have a lot of empties. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, we have a lot of empties that we were planning on doing something with at some point, but we haven't. Yeah. You know, plans. Like you do. Like you do. Mm -hmm. I have lots of great plans. Mm. Are you saving the wine corks like some people do? No, I don't. We don't drink that much wine anyway, so it would be silly. We, we, we throw them out. We have four. <laughs> yeah, and we throw them out. We throw the cor- we, corks out, and no, we rinse the bottle. We save wine and... boxes. What's that? We save wine boxes. <laughs> We're going to build a table out of it. <laughs> That's amazing. It, is it? <laughs> um, I don't actually think this is that bad. I like it better no. than the black label. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I- as this so, is actually pretty easy drinking beer. It totally is easy drinking yeah, beer. Yeah, this is really And especially because it's less less skunky. There's still that little hint of it, which brings me back to the day. But it's less skunky. It is totally more drinkable. I, I could totally pound some moose. I should have got that case now. God yeah, you should have. Yeah, because, yeah, this is. That's so- it. Pack up. We're going to Canada. All right, dude. All right. Go. Go. Oh, I don't have one of those hands license things, though. Oh, yeah. No Canada those. for you, then, my friend. No. I know, but I do want to go get. I want to get my uh, passport. 
it's what I want to do. Now. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, I have the enhanced license, and that'll mm-hmm. get me to Canada. And it's for right now, it's all I need. I'm right. not going anywhere. Yeah, I do need to go somewhere. As someone who's supposed to be a person of the world, I haven't been around the world. So yeah, other than you Canada, know, Canada to drink Moosehead and Black Label. Like, oh, well, we like Canada though. Oh yeah, oh, it's great. I'm not just in Canada. We like our we like our friends up there, our northern friends. Um, we'll move this out. All right. Well, let me. I'm gonna get off of Michigan and the nude law. <laughs> the nude law. The, the the. Oh, I was gonna look up nude law to see if I could find. I don't know how to spell it. Exists. I don't even know how to spell it. So I don't know what you could look look for. Um, I'm assuming. It's, do you know what the sexy version is? It's N U D E. Nude L A. L A H probably nude law no new yeah nude law I'm just gonna look up new egg nude oh I found it right away yeah what's yeah the... it's just egg noodles well, nude law the... so check oh is, this is, is there just... a picture because I'll because I'll tell you if it looks nude law is just it's just uh, it's just how you say noodle <laughs> oh it's just German for noodle. I oh, think my. so, because so it says here, egg noodles, noodla, right there. It's put a... Oh, that is how you... Okay, well, that's not how I spelled it. Jesus Christ. Actually, that's more of the sexy way. And you D-L-A-H. Yeah, ger- yeah, yeah, so this is recipe is a staple of Germans from Russian culture. So it, this is... It's really... This is... Yeah. All right, well, maybe it's just German. the German word for noodle, and then it's just and the family he, version. The family makes a specific type of version, which, which I'm glad they like it. Well, okay, that's fine. It was you fine. You care for it. But, but if you it. that much build up, I'm uh-huh. thinking it's going to make me tingle, right? Right. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And it's, it's just, I mean, I do like homemade noodles. I mean, and I really lo- do. I love noodles. I'm, I'm a... No, I'm just huge into them no ramen noodles egg noodles all the noodles they're slurpy these were not slurpy ah oh, see uh, i do like a slurpy noodle unless my technique for eating them wasn't down maybe well I the way you're describing it it's it's interesting so it's like he like he was just breaking off little bits of the well, they weren't very little, actually. Okay. They they were uh, okay. How long is this? I would say that's about two, three inches. Okay, so breaking up about th- and then like rolling quick, a quick mm-hmm. roll, and literally like with the hands together. And mm-hmm. I'm, can you hear this, folks? As I'm rubbing okay. my hands together, it, just and then few, just few, and then literally like with the hands still together, literally fling it in the pot, and that was it. That was it, and then it would be in the the onion and chicken stock thing simmering away, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So. You know, again, it was totally serviceable. Yeah. Could have dealt with a little, maybe an Alfredo sauce or something. <laughs> I know. It, it sounds really good to me. Yeah. yeah okay. No, yeah, it's cool. Well, so anyway, I'm, I'm not here dissing it. I was incorporating it into the, the Labatt's story, which got to the Moosehead. So well, and now that's I'm, why I'm I mean, now we b- both know something. That's yeah, what yeah. that means. And that mm-hmm. kind of would go along with being in that area of the area of so the let's world. not let's not tell anybody that i now know that noodle is just german for noodle because i can keep making fun of the word okay okay i won't say a word thank you no, don't, no problem. don't tell anybody tens of listeners yeah okay as Meaning you don't tell my wife <laughs> she doesn't listen so. even when she's on the show she doesn't listen. <laughs> so. uh so as okay i can watch watch transition you ready i love that so go driving to michigan we used my wife's car. Um, I will say this out loud. I hate her car <laughs> with a red hot passion. And if somehow a piano falls on this car, not with her in it, with no one in it, right. I would not be disappointed. I get you. I get it saying. is a Kia, I, I don't know, a Kia Noodla. I, I don't know. What the, <laughs> it's a kind of, Kia Noodla and you're Kia not a Noodla. fan. And it's a hybrid. And so it's, and I don't think it's because it's a Kia yeah, I think it's because it's new, new, and it has the new things that are coming out on cars. And I'm going to talk. Tell me because I don't know. What I, I know I'm going to talk about the cars for a minute, but I'm going to transition. This is where I'm transitioning. And I did a lot of the driving, not in Michigan. Actually, Eve did mo- pretty much all the driving while we were in Michigan, like mm-hmm. with amongst the family stuff. Mm-hmm. But to and back, I did most of the driving. So that was like the trade-off. Um, 
but her car, these, these new features where if you get close to the edge of the lane, it makes a noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or if you're in cruise control and let's say you're doing 65, mm -hmm. like which would be the speed limit because that's what I always do, the speed limit. Of course. <laughs> like you do. And somebody pulls into your lane shorter than three car lengths ahead of you because now they all have sensors all around mm -hmm. you, 360 degrees. It slows your car down for you. And if you're not, if you don't know what the hell that's going to do it, you you think something's wrong with the car. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you have yeah. less control over your car now. So now someone, oh, I don't I'm know gonna, how I feel about that. I can tell you how I feel because I someone, don't like it, and I'm going to sound like and you know I don't even drive, and I'm like yeah. I don't like it, and and I'm going to sound like old guy who doesn't like change. I don't have a problem with change. I do a podcast. God damn it. It's not like get off my lawn. We love, go, we love lots of change. Like we I want to go lots of watch to my change. black and white TV watching Gunsmoke. I'm not doing that. I'm saying mm -hmm. I've been driving long enough where I just, I got this. I don't fucking need your help, bro. I got the lane. I know when a car comes in front of me, leave me the fuck alone and give me my car. Right. I, I mean, I can understand people using um, cruise control. It is nice for long drives and stuff, but... Oh, know. I'm a huge advocate. Cruise control is awesome. You can yeah, just yeah. take your foot off, and, and that's been around for decades. Right. Right. Yeah. But this, where someone cuts in front of you, or not mm -hmm. even cuts in front of you, it's like less than three car lengths in front of you. Your car slows down for you. You're like Automatically. And you automatically think, like, what the fuck's happening in my car? And I don't have proof of this. It really felt like... If I was like not in another lane, not like I was drifting in another lane, if I was just close to an edge, it would pull me back. And it always felt like I was pulling, like like the alignment was off and I was pulling against the car. Oh, I don't like that at all. No, it would, I hated this car. And I, oh and so, my God, no, that sounds like, a, I, honestly, I don't understand that at all. I don't think that's, a, that doesn't seem safe to me. Well, allegedly it's supposed to be safe. So you don't I, that accidentally seems, I don't go into the how, lane. How un, I don't get that because so, if you can't control it. So here's where I'm going. You can, you yes. know more than the fucking car is. Yes. You're a person. It's a machine. I get it. There's shitty oh drivers God, or like there's this. people who drive tired right. and I get it. I understand. But I get most, it. I mean, the, I get that too. The but. overwhelming majority of people are relatively decent drivers and don't need this right. shit. And they to me, I don't shit. want it. So mm -hmm. if that means I got to fucking go and drive like beat up Pintos from the 70s from now on, that's what I'm going to fucking do because screw it. You're not going to tell me how to drive my car. No, I just don't like that at all. And I'm not being all. like, you know, a libertarian who walked into a bear guy. I'm, I'm just like, I know how to drive. And this makes, to me, it's more dangerous because I'm always trying to correct when this car's going someplace I don't want it to go. Mm -hmm. or a speed I don't want it to go. And that's going to cause so, me to get into an accident. So when it does, okay, so I didn't know about, I mean, I know about some things, but I didn't know about um, some of the features. I didn't know about this one. So if, will it fight you? Like it won't let you do things? You, I guess you can, no, I could. You override relatively. it nowhere. I mean, you can override anything it does. If, if I could just turn it off, if there was a switch to just turn it off, I'd be like, fine. Do it, man. Put, mm -hmm. put all the bells and whistles you want. I'll turn it no, off. No, but I mean, like, if it slows down, like, if it's going 65 and all of a sudden it slows down to 40 and you're, you're like, no, it doesn't need to be that. Like, is it going to fight you to go, no, it's going to stay at 40? If, if I'm in cruise control, yes. I basically had to turn the cruise control off. Oh, okay. And then just do it by, and like, and if you're, if you're. Yeah, I don't like that look, at all. If you're going 20 minutes to the other part of the county, look, the cool thing about, one of the cool things about living where we live. Say what you want about our this this city, and there's good and bad to every city. Of course. Um, but traffic is not horrible. You can get from one end to the other pretty much in 20 minutes. 30 if, like, you hit the lights. Yeah, well, like, if you have bad, like, we had some bad traffic yesterday going down to the lake because it was, I mean, it was a hot day, so. Like, well, okay, but that's, like, yeah. especially, like, the beach kind of thing, right? But, yeah, I mean, just general. Little, your, yeah, your general still, twin like, But, honestly, but we were. That's what I'm saying. We were talking about that though. We were while it was happening because it was, of course, a little bit frustrating to Whoa. to do that. But that was. But one of the people that was in the car with us is not from here, and they were saying, "Well, you know, this is nothing like what you have to deal with in other Anywhere. cities. Yep. No, in right. other cities, so, like this is nothing. Right. So I, be grateful. Yes. So, man, I'm looking at the time. We're 48 minutes already. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So, I, yeah, that's crazy. So 
and then that amongst with some other so we just got uh we were having some issues you know stuff usually like goes at the same time so we were having some issues with our refrigerator we had a new fridge and we were having some trouble with a dryer and we got a new dryer dryer and so they're new new Mm -hmm. right and they've got bells and whistles that fucking drive me nuts I know they're supposed to be helpful, mm-hmm. but dude, I know the do- I know the fucking door's open to the fridge. I- it's open on purpose. I know. Stop making noises at me. Oh, it makes noises at you if the refrigerator is open too long. Yeah, and the dryer, it doesn't have a buzzer that goes off when it's done. Mm-hmm. It plays like a fucking two minute song, and you can't shut it off. It's like, bro, I got it. My shit, my my underwear's dry. Will you fucking <laughs> just shut the fuck up, bro. I got it. Oh, I wouldn't like that at all either. Right. I'm like, oh, it's so here's where I'm going. That our phones always have a problem. Wait, is yours phone. in the basement though? What? Your dry your yeah. washing dryer. Okay. Yeah. At least it's not like upstairs where you're like might be near it. Like you probably won't be but as I can near. still hear it. It's that loud. Oh. So yeah. So that and phones and how we're tied to them. I got a student and I, I'm feeling comfortable. I can talk a little bit about mm-hmm. my teaching right now. Um I'm going to be careful. Right. right. Well, you can't say. Just, no, no, no. Yeah, just don't I'm say not, what you teach. I'm, I'm not going to. And I'm not going to complain. So, um, but I do have a student who hasn't been doing squat for a while, and I'm not going to get into serious details. But part of the thing was he was, and we and un, we can talk about this another time. Kids are allowed to have their phones out in school. I don't agree, but whatever. I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, and he didn't do sh- shit. And was always on his phone, mm-hmm. right? And so we would always, do- all the teachers were documenting it. And finally, the administration got around and they had a phone plan. It's basically, he has to turn his phone in in the morning and he gets it back when he leaves. Mm-hmm. And eventually, if he gets his shit together, they'll work on him getting his phone back. The first day of this thing, he was, I'm not making this, I am not making this up, despondent. He sat there the entire, still didn't do any work, Mm -hmm. literally said, my life is over because he didn't have his fucking phone in school. Wow. Now, that's the extreme, but pretty much all my kids have some degree of that. Some adults I know Mm -hmm. have that. So this is where I'm going. The fridge, the, the, the dryer, this fucking car from hell. The way we have phones, you know, you we you and I talk about toilet paper. We got ads for toilet paper and our social media, right? Because our phones are listening. Right. Uh, all that, all that stuff. And I think that's part of why everyone's so unhappy. Now, I'm not saying we need to go back to an agrarian society and we always need to be, you know, farming just to survive kind of thing. That's not what I'm mm-hmm. saying. But I just think we need to like stop for a second and and listen to this and just take a second and think about it. I think this has something to do with it. The technology, whether it's on purpose or not, I'm not going to be conspiracy guy much, but (laughs) I don't know if this is on purpose. I have no evidence one way or the other, but just look at the stress. All of these quote improvements are causing us. I just, I, I, I really, and as someone, as people who are doing a podcast using technology, Right? I, I'm not saying get rid of all technology. I'm not being right. that person. Because there are some things that are really great about technology. No question. And there's some things that are great about social media. There's some things that are right. There's no right, question at yeah. all. I right. mean, I social media, as toxic as it can be, it has put me in touch with people who I haven't seen or talking to in years. And it's mm-hmm. been a, there's been very positive things in my social media. Right. No question. Right. And shitty stuff. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's some really good stuff, and then there's some shitty stuff for the same. And I think that some folks, in the guise of capitalism or in the guise of getting power, Mm -hmm. um, overdevelop it to the point where knowing what some folks, because we know that 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 companies have employed psychologists to hook children to to be consumers. Right, we know this. We know this. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. We know how the brains function relatively. We don't know everything. And I think a lot of this is done on purpose. I'm not saying this car not letting me like move two feet to the right is trying to get me to like buy McDonald's or anything. Mm-hmm. That I'm not 
going that far, you know, but do the research, man. Well, I will tell you with I, my phone, I have a little bit of that issue. Um, we have now enacted a practice in my house. Um, Dan is not nearly as attached to the phone as I am. I won't even lie about it. I'm I'm the worst one. But he, uh, we now made a thing if we're watching a show or a movie together that phones have to go away. We have to put the phones away. <clears throat> But what is nice is that there's been some recent times where I just, or I think last night was one of them. It was in my, it was in my book bag the whole night and I didn't even grab it all night until, um, yeah, until I had to go to bed and then I remembered where it was. I was like, oh wait, where's my phone? Oh yeah. It's been, it was in my book bag like for hours and hours. I didn't even look at it. And I know people that would freak them out. Man. Right. Right. I knew, but I mean, I think it's been kind of good. I mean, we've, we've been doing that. We've been doing a lot of walks outside. We've been doing a lot of things, but then on the positive thing about a phone is that, um, you have the, like, I've been really getting into, um, photography again, and I go back and forth with photography. Yeah, I, I mean, having my phone on me all the time to be able to get a great sure, shot is course. so awesome. Like everything, there's and I have a pretty good. I I got the like the extra. I got the slightly better Apple phone for I mean, that probably generation. Like, but the f better photography, probably except for like nuclear weapons. Every mm -hmm. technology has mm -hmm. some, you know, or or automatic weapons. I I won't even say all guns because. We've talked about this hunting, right. you know, right. if you're up, that's how you get your food. Yeah. I'll say that's a positive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no problem with that. Can't take your fucking ass to fucking McDonald's drive through yeah. then fuck you. Go ahead and shoot something if you must. Yeah. But other than that, you know. I'm just saying. Just saying. Yeah. So, all right. You know what? I'm going to do this. Even if this might take us a hair over because yeah. I've literally, and I'm going to, because I'm connecting this. So. I've literally had this on my list of things to talk about for two oh, months. Oh, that's right. We did have something. You did. Two months. Then we're talking about it right now. And I was now. about to like let it go, but this connects too well. Okay. So, I'm so excited to so hear about this. The technology that I'm talking about that I think it's like a little too much or we're using the wrong way or it's not, I don't even know if we can regulate it, whatever. It's just, we just need to think at least folks who are listening to the show, think about it. Because if you're listening to the show, you're listening to it with technology to think about it and what can we do different or just listen to my show and don't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, so, uh, I have noticed over the past few months and maybe it's been happening more. I just noticed it though. Everyone pretty close. I know that sounds when someone says everyone, it's, 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 it's an exaggeration or a generalization, but pretty damn close. Every adult, says these days that they have ADHD. And I, I'm not saying, no, you don't. That, that's, that's not what I'm here to do, okay? Actually, I'm accepting what you're saying. And I'm saying that whole concept of neurodivergent, and if you're not familiar with the term, it just means, the, well, the opposite is neurotypical. Right. Right. So I mean, typical means you. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way most like people think. Right, right. And so neurodivergent could be autism. It could be ADHD. It could be whatever. All sorts of things. Right. There's a big. That's a big umbrella. Yeah. But so, and and I'm not exaggerating here. Just in my everyday life, at work or wherever, everyone's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, my ADHD. Sorry, I I just I can't focus." And that's just how you know. I think it's. I think it's not. And again, I'm not saying it's made up. I think it's eliminating the concept of neurodiversity because, or hmm. neurotypical. I, I think it's, and this might not be a bad thing, I don't think. I think hmm. it's actually just saying, and this is going to sound corny, hey, we're all just unique and different, right? Mm -hmm. That there isn't really a typical thing. And it's just, it's that, and I know that sounds like, you know, all lives matter kind of thing. But so many folks just in the everyday kind of thing, like, hey, did you get that done? Oh, sorry, my ADHD. It's like, bro, you just got busy. Chill. Okay. I don't need to hear your diagnosis. It's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But I just think between the 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 stuff that's happening, honestly, let's just be honest. There's no, we're back again to, there's no right, wrong, black, white, yes, no, that kind of thing. There's many different reasons for for things and that the technology 
the pollution we have. I'll, I'm, I know you're going to make me sound like a conspiracy guy, but do the research kind of thing. Um, Are you going to say chemtrails? No, I'm not going to say chemtrails, but I am going to say radio waves. Hmm. I just, I don't know what kind of research has been done. It just doesn't make sense to me that we have so many radio waves and microwaves and 3G and 5G and 12G and whatever, and it has no effect at all. I'm not saying it's the hmm. cause of everything. It's just my quote, I'll put quotes on common sense. It just doesn't feel right to me. Huh, that is interesting. You know, because you still have AM radio waves out there. Mm -hmm. And you have FM, and now you have microwave, and now you have cellular, and you have all these different things, and you're telling me it has no effect? Okay. That's interesting. It doesn't really make sense to me, but okay, fine. Has the research been done? I am not saying, it's why we have all this stuff. Do your research. Right, right, right. right. Not, right. But, you're just, like, but you're curious, though. Yeah, but you're like, I'm really says, kind of going, it seems like it should have something to do nothing? with something. I mean, could it contribute a little anyway? To something, yeah. Between that and all the changes in the technology and everything beeping at you and telling you and and flashing at you and telling you to buy shit. And if you went and never saw that this, that twenty year old, God, it's twenty year old video now. The story of stuff. Oh and yeah, how, and how yeah. marketing comes at you. Mm -hmm. All of that we see literally thousands of ads every day. On TV and radio and buses and magazines and just walking around. There's a fucking ad. They almost had me put an ad for McDonald's in my classroom and I refused. It wasn't an ad for McDonald's. Mm -hmm. It was something about kids earning an incentive with huge McDonald's right, pictures on course. it. And I went, no, I'm not putting it up. I'll tell the kids about it. You can tell them I'm not putting it up in my room. They're not going to look at a McDonald's logo every single day they come into my room. I'm not doing it. I didn't say it that way, but I just didn't do it. <laughs> so, but if they asked, so like, yeah, nobody you, asked, but no. I just said no. That's recycling. Um, so I don't know. I just think there's all these things happening that are making us all neurodivergent. I just think it's hmm. not even a thing anymore. I think we're all just we're all stressed, man. We all got this shit going on, and there's no one cause. I will. Um, I think that there's there's some truth to what you're saying. I'm going to say with my own. I and think I it's have no research. Different. I have no data. Right. So don't go look it up. Don't do no, your research because no, I got no. no. It's just me thinking in a shitty trip to Michigan with things beeping at me and fucking with my car. Those are the thoughts I have. Those are thoughts. Too. Those are, they're not bad thoughts. I mean, it does seem like a lot more people um, claim that. No. Oh. Um, I mean, I've been. I was diagnosed. Over, like 15 years ago i know Most so, I'm, not, and, 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 and like, I'm not bringing this up because i'm saying you're it you sucks. don't you don't you're not you don't have adhd and that's not yeah. really it is you're just stressed i'm not doing no it. i know because you've seen you've seen, I'm you've not, seen the changes i'm not about saying it. that to yeah. anybody i'm saying i think we're all in this boat mm. is what i'm saying i don't disagree with that i don't I, look i without question there are things that will never leave my brain mm -hmm. i like dumb shit like fucking Debbie Gibson songs and fucking. Uh, oh my god! Did you see the picture of Sean yeah. with Debbie? It was so Men cute. without hats. You know, like you know the the safety dance will never like never fuck never. Like even though I want it to, it will never leave my head. Right, but by the same token, I do. Do I remember what I had for lunch? And I don't think that's a condition i just think that's the world we live in and everyone, oh i think that's like i feel like things like that are just normal right and i don't but, think that's weird but at people all people label it like they because you know, oh it's my adhd or i've you know, oh i think everybody does that and, and i'm just like everybody just needs to give themselves some space and some yeah grace and just i don't think it. that's adhd i think that's but just like normal thing, but i also i'm hoping the the tens of people who listen to this mm -hmm. uh just stop and think for a second and go you know or even if you you end up with the life that you have where you're and, – and I'm not saying this is wrong – where you have however many kids you have and you're running them to every soccer practice and because I people I work with. Mm -hmm. You know, they get out of school oh, yeah. and they're, they're going to soccer practice and ballet and this thing and this thing. Yep, and, uh, yep. uh, and of course you're going to be nuts. You're not going to remember shit. Dude, that's – Your brain can only t handle so much shit, Absolutely, man. without question. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just – it's been making me think about this for a while now. And it's I like, think you got something there. Mm, Oh, I better see a doctor and get rid of it. Yeah, that dad joke. I think it's time to go. <laughs> that was good. So that I was finally good. crossed this off. So I did have more about capitalism, and I'm going to talk about it more uh, next show, maybe, depending if we have a guest or not. Because um, I'm in the middle of listening to something, uh, 
that I, I do want to go into kind of connects to this, but a fascinating thing with a little bit of history and some more now stuff. And I literally had a kid today. No, nah, I don't want to get into it because it's because we're, we're, we're over time, but okay. uh, I had, a st I, it's amazing. I got these students who are in this program that I, that I work in who, you know, are supposed to be the trouble kids. Right. And they don't, they're not studious and stuff like that. And they say the smartest fucking shit that is never going to be on a test. Yep. I'll never forget. I don't remember if I said it on the show or not. And I'm sorry. I'm going on again. But it's all right. It's our um, show. We can say yeah, it. I know. I know. Um, but I'll, I'll end this with this. This kid, it was, must have been like my first or second, uh, second or third week there. So the kids are still getting to know me. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching science, which we can talk yeah, about yeah, on the top. Yeah, yeah. Science. science. Yeah, right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm teaching science. And out of nowhere, mm -hmm. this kid had nothing to do with science says, how come we have to pay for a place to live? I'm like, you're, I didn't say this this way, mm -hmm. but my brain was like, you're the smartest fucking kid I've ever had, dude. No <laughs> one's, I have adults that haven't fucking thought of that. Even questioned, why do we have to pay to have a place to live? Just out of nowhere. I'll mm -hmm. bet she had something at home where mom and or dad yeah, was probably. having trouble with the rent. But yeah. nobody else questions that. They just go, oh, I got to figure out a way to pay the rent. Or I got to figure out another place to live. Or I got to skip out. Or what? This kid was like, for everybody, why do we have to pay to have a place to live? I love you, man. Yes, kid, run for office when you're older. Another kid, another kid to me today was like, yeah, he's probably he's probably a fucking budding genius. He doesn't even know. We don't even. Who know has really good grades in my class, but is like, he, he, this kid has something. Mm -hmm. ADHD, whatever. He's got something. Can't, he will ask you a question. And as you open your mouth to answer his question, like legitimately, we'll totally ask you another one to go off and start talking. Like, like, bro, can I answer the question you just asked me? Oh man, I do that. Yeah. So I, but you've never noticed that I do that. Constantly. Oh, I've, constantly. I've, oh, I've actually worked. That's actually something I, I definitely do, and I have worked very diligently to. Rain it in, and just out of nowhere today, we were walking somewhere in the hallway. My, he's with my that class, and we were walking somewhere, and he just started talking about how, you know, having a job. If he he, he was talking about having getting a summer job, mm -hmm. he's, yeah, but you know, that's not really being free if you have to work. I'm like, I fucking love you, man. You're a pain in the ass. I fucking love you. <laughs> that's exactly the what I was listening to in the car mm -hmm. on the way to school today, and I told him that. I didn't say the other part. But right, right. I said that's exact. That's exactly what I was listening to today. That that if you have to work, are you really free? Mm -hmm. And he looks at me like, really? I was like, yeah, that's exactly what we're. Oh my god, that's amazing. And it, it just that bonded kid. with this crazy ass kid. This kid that's driving you nuts, but man, yeah. Smart. So I'm going to talk about that next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's the black label. It just hit me. Man. It took a while. It took an hour, but it hit me. Yeah. All right, so All we'll, right. we'll be back next week. Yes. And oh, we got to talk about schedule. I got a little thing. It's no well, my birthday's next Friday, so we won't be doing this on Friday. That's exactly what I got to talk about. Fabulous. Um, so, uh, but we'll be back I will next be 51, week. and I will not have COVID this time. <laughs> I had COVID for my birthday last year. And um, yeah, I don't know. We'll be back. But yep. seriously, com. there's amazing stuff there. Cool cats for change. Um, check it out. And that, especially if you could spread the word about that, because we're trying to get more people just to get on there to just do stuff. Right now, it's really easy stuff. Quick petition, quick, like automated email. You put your name and your address so they know who your representative, they send the letter for you. You don't even have to write it. That's <sighs> how easy it is. So real quick stuff, but don't worry. I'll be ramping it up. First one's always <laughs> free, right? So, all right, we'll be back next week. Ciao. Happy Noodla. They don't use turn signals. Road signs are for other people. Speed limit, schmeed limit. What do these bad drivers know that you don't know? They went to the Ayn Rand School of Driving. This is not ideology, people. This is hardcore driving freedom. What do you learn at the Ayn Rand School of Driving? No one cuts in front of you. No one gets a free ride. And road rage is focused driving. 
Stop worrying about other drivers. Sign up for lessons at the Ayn Rand School of Driving. Whether you're on the road or not, give us a call at 555-2323 or drive and text us at star 5795. The Ayn Rand School of Driving, because driving on the sidewalk is your inalienable right.